giving your tour guide for today. Before we get started on the tour, I want to give you all some history about the place. Back in 1953, three land surveyors from California came all the way to Michigan to survey this plot of land. While they were here, they noticed some things that weren't really right. Their equipment wasn't working properly, and the workers that were here were not feeling good. They were feeling dizzy, lightheaded, sometimes even a bit nauseous. They ended up opening the place up to the public as the mystery spot in 1955. Since then, we've had millions of visitors come through the place. There are some important things I want you all to know about the spot, and those are its boundary lines. They run up this path here. They go all the way through that building in the woods, which is the mystery spot itself. All the demonstrations today will take place in there, besides the one out front. They also go down a path you can kind of see through the trees if you look hard enough. And lastly, down the one behind the gift shop, right between the two blocks here, which puts the blocks on opposite sides of that line, leaving this one inside the mystery spot, and that block over there, outside of it. Something about the two blocks I want you all to know is that they are completely level, separate, and together. I'm going to go by you guys really quick to grab a level. Perfect, thank you. And I'll set it on the inside block. You all can check it out if you want to. Here it is on that outside block. And then pull back on both. Now, this is where the first demonstration takes place. I need two people that are about the same height for it. I'm going to go right by you again. Thank you. What are we thinking? <laughs> Yeah, you want to try it? Sure. Do you want to try it out? Step on the block. Yeah. Yeah. You each can step on your own block. You're going to face each other. Face each other. And then you're <laughs> going to back up your heels all the way to the very back of your block. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. The rest of you can move to the sides to see. I want you to tell me who appears to be taller by about how many inches or so. Wow. Wow. Taller. It's a pretty big difference, right? Mm -hmm. Let's have them switch spots for us. Switch spots. They went face on her foot. Heels over. No, I still think he's taller, yeah. but it's not it quite as like much, right? Yeah. Not quite as much. <laughs> okay. And remember the block he's on right now is inside of the mystery spot. It is said that once you enter, you do appear a couple inches shorter than you are outside of it, which explains why he just shrunk a little bit. We're going to have you switch one more time, okay? Switch. Sure. We have them do this last switch just so we can see that height difference one more time. I also like to do it for some safety reasons because I don't want them going any shorter or taller than they came here inside the mystery spot. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you for helping us out here. Good job. You guys can hop on now and off your blocks. Good job, Cyrus. And if you all are ready, you can follow me up the path towards the building right over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you're a baby like that go, small. Go, we're getting left behind. Yeah. Down. Right? It's not quite the case here inside the mystery spot. As you'll see by my side, what goes down doesn't always like to stay down. It actually does the opposite as it makes its way back up every time. Now, I can take the ball and place it anywhere on the ramp, even at the very bottom. As you'll see, it still goes right to the top. And I will let you all know there are no strings attached to the ball or any magnets in it. If you don't really believe me, I can do the same demonstration, this time with water. I want you all to focus near the top of the ramp. As I pour the water into the bottom of it, you all will see here inside the mystery spot, water also likes to go uphill. You might be wondering why this all happens. It does occur because we have some very strong gravity pulling towards the east, which is that way. It makes everything move in that direction a little bit more, like the ball and the water. I do need somebody else to help me out with the next one here. Perfect. <laughs> you're going to step right up here for everybody. <laughs> and then you're going to face me. If 
and just stand up as straight as you can. Standing up straight. <laughs> all <laughs> yeah. What's it look like to you guys? Leaning backwards. Leaning back, right? Yeah. And if you were to fall, which way do you think it would be? Leaning towards me? <laughs> all right. Thank you for helping us out. Good job. You can make your way back over there. Anybody else want to try it out so you can show them what it looks like up there? Yeah, we go. Yeah. Okay. You're standing up straight. <laughs> there we go. That's what you looked like up there. A little bit crooked. If you were going to fall, which way would it be? Yeah. Thank you for helping us out. Good job. Did she want to try to get Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You gotta stand nice up straight. Job. I know it. Is that kind of cool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you were gonna fall, which way do you think it would be? Yeah. Thank you for helping us out. Good job. Anybody else want to try it out? <laughs> the majority of visitors who make the same step up here do say they'll fall forward because of all that gravity pulling them towards the east. The whole purpose of the demonstration is to show you we're all going to be standing like this, a little bit crooked through the rest of the tour. You also will feel the gravity pulling on you a lot more in the next two rooms, so please be ready for that. With that being said, if you guys are ready, you can follow me into the next room here. You are ready to go, aren't you? No. <laughs> Do you have some people fall over? Yeah, a lot of times it's like, like kids who run in here and then they start just going towards the wall, but it happens to a lot of people. <laughs> How's everybody feeling in here? Bad. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> I will say it is worse in this room than the last one. You do start to get used to it once you're in here for a little bit. For the next demonstration, we're going to use this table to my left. We can all say it stands about a foot or two off the ground, yeah. Yeah. It would yeah, usually take some effort to step onto outside of here. Inside, it's actually very easy, and it feels like I'm stepping onto a street curb, which is only about six inches. I'll show you how easy it is. It's a small step up, but that gravity takes me right to the wall, so I do have to catch myself. I can stand straight up on the edge of the table here. What's it look like to you all? Like leaning this way. Right. And I do feel perfectly balanced. If I were to fall, it would be backwards because of all that gravity. From the angle I'm able to stand at, I can see a good few inches underneath the table as well. When I take the step down though, it no longer is that street curb. It definitely feels like a bigger drop. If anyone wants to try it out, you're more than welcome to. Anyone want to? No, we gotta go from this way, Cyrus. <laughs> I feel it. Like, you feel it pulling you? Yeah. <laughs> And that drop will be pretty big compared to the way up, okay? So just be ready for it. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Nice job. <laughs> Anybody else want to try this one out? Any of the adults want to give it a shot? I give it a shot. All right. to take a seat in this chair for me. Go. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> now I know you've just sat down. You're going to have to get out of the chair without using your hands or your arms. You have to stay in your lap or in the air, and your feet have to stay in front of the chair at all times, which uh, means they can't can. push against it. I can feel it pushing me. I don't think I can. Yeah. Keep going. There we go. Nice job, give him a round of applause, that was pretty impressive. It is impressive.
impressive because only 2% of our visitors can oh. get out of the chair, so you join that 2%. 98% can't even move out of it. Anybody it else like want to try this one? Do the kids want to try now? Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Oh, yeah. The kids make it look easier than the adults for sure. Oh, that's good. You got it. Keep going. There you go. Good job. Good job. Yeah. You got it. Nice job. It's pretty easy for you. Anybody else want to try it out? All right. The next one is for kids only. You all can do it if you want to. Who wants to go first? Yeah. You're gonna sit on the chair, okay? All you have to do is lean back towards the wall behind you. So just keep your back against the chair. You're sitting on the wall. How's it feel? Good. All right. Don't move too much. I am going to balance him off of the wall now. I promise you'll be good. Right here. Now you're balancing. There's nothing behind the back of your chair or underneath the two front legs. Pretty cool, right? Yeah? Thank you for helping us out here. Anybody else want to try it out? Same thing, you're going back towards the wall. Um, it's pretty nice, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the part where I balance you. Just try and stay still. There you go. That's what you looked like up there. You want to this out? <laughs> you want to try too? <laughs> all right, ready? So you're going to lean back. You might have to scoot your butt back all the way. There you go. Perfect. I'm going to balance you now, okay? Are you ready? There we go. Nice job. <laughs> Did she want to try it out? <laughs> All right. If you guys are ready, we're going to make our way into that next room there. The handrail does continue to your left. by the blocks out front I was talking about and how some of their equipment wasn't working right. One piece of their equipment that did not work was their plumb bob. Here we're just trying to recreate it. We have a 10 pound weight suspended by a chain. I'm going to give it a little bit of a push. I want you all to tell me if you notice anything weird or strange about it. It was up higher that way. That was this way, right? That way. Right, now it does pull more towards that wall because of all the strong gravity we have here. I can even line up the weight and chain underneath the hook. When I let go, it shouldn't go anywhere, but as you can see, it does like to make a strong natural pull towards the east as well. Right here, I'm standing at a 45 degree angle. Anywhere outside the mystery spot, I'd fall flat on my face. Inside this platform I'm on is said to be the most comfortable place to stand. If anyone is feeling a little bit off, maybe dizzy or nauseous, or you want to try it out just for fun, you can take a step up here. It should make you feel almost back to normal. You want to try? <laughs> you stand in the middle, it works the best. So if you go down a little bit, there we go. Feel good? Yeah? <laughs> Sweet, nice job. Anybody else want to try it out? My legs are shaking. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you can go. Go down a little bit. Yeah. Down. There you go. Yeah, towards the middle, it works the best there. There you go. <laughs> nice job. Feels pretty good, right? <laughs> Anybody else want to try this one out? Any of the adults want to give it a shot? Dad, how are you doing? Takes the stress off your feet. Right. <laughs> Any last takers for that one? All right. As you all saw in that last room, we like to sit on the walls. It's not the only strange thing we like to do on the walls because we also like to stand on them. Right now, it looks like my toe should be breaking and it looks like it hurts. 
I can promise you I don't feel any pain on them because of all my weight being pulled back into my heels. With that being said, there is some pressure on the toes, but that's completely normal. If anyone wants to try this one out, you are more than welcome to. <laughs> I had a feeling you were going to do it. <laughs> there you go. Nice job. You feel the gravity pulling you back a little bit? Yeah. Good job. There we go. Nice job. Anybody else want to try this one out? You try it? Yeah. Here. That's a cheat goes, you go. Climb up here. You got it. I want to do it on my toes. I'm going to put your feet against the wall. You'll see. It's not so hard. There you go. Look. See? There you go. Don't let go of me. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah, Any last takers for that one? Anybody want to stand on the wall? Yeah. All right, if everybody is ready, we're going to make our way into the last room with the brick floor. You guys can line up along the wall to the left again, or the one that has the door straight ahead of you. Now, you guys go on that brick floor in there. Two volunteers that were on our blocks up front, which I believe were happy to it. You know? Where's One of you can stand at the bottom of the plank, the other can come all the way first. to the top. You want to go to the top? Stand on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to ask that same question as before who appears to be taller? I think you might have them beat this time. I'll have you guys switch spots, okay? Make sure you're careful when you pass each other in the middle there. There you go. <laughs> now he's a lot taller, right? Mm -hmm. And there shouldn't be this big of a change because remember, this is a level surface. Can I have you kids meet in the middle, right about here? Perfect. Just to show their height difference and for the same safety reasons as before, let's give them one last round of applause. Good job, you guys. Come on, let's go. Off the plank. Thanks for helping out one last time. 
Now, unfortunately, this does conclude the tour of the mystery spot. If you do want to stay and hang out just a little bit longer, we also have mini golf, a Fort Mays through the woods, and two zip lines you all now save $5 on because you've taken this tour. With that being said, thank you all so much for visiting. You guys can follow me down the path towards the gift shop. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming.